Hello, my amazing water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hello, beautifuls. How are you? I'm coming to you right now to bring you a reading. It's going to be for Cancer first, Scorpio second, and then Pisces third. I'm lighting up my sage as above, so below. Everything unholy has got to go. Sending you joy. healing, removal of cords, negative thoughts, healing. All right. Don't forget to get your hands on some of this. If you have a little emotional, non-well-being, emotional, this is attracting love and positive energy towards you. I use it on my face. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. I use this on my face because it's absolutely fabulous and it's pure. I have a uh, auric field clear. I'm going to clear my auric field so I can read for you and not be um, attracting any negative vibrations. As a matter of fact, dispelling them very, very quickly. Got no time for that. And then, of course, attract. Uh, this is um, sacred holy anointing. This is so beautiful. It's um, Palo Santo, Nag Chomp, and a few other ingredients. The idea behind this, because it was produced in meditation so I know that it is anointed and it is for bringing you into the sacred space when you're clearing praying fasting when you're working when you're working on someone else you spray your um, like for me if I do yoga I mean if I do Reiki on you on a table I'll just spritz the, the table and do an, a healing anointing on it first all right cancer this is Cancer. Hi, darlings. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node. How's it going? Let's see. Trust. You have a trust trust going on here. Your situation is calling for you to have faith. So it's about faith. Do you believe in something? You're having trouble believing in something. I wonder what it is. Let's see. What else, please? Romance Angels. Reconciliation. Getting back with someone. Dang it, that, that, definitely, that one just wants to pop out so much. What else do we have for Cancer, please, in the Romance Energies? What do we have for Cancer, please, in the Romance Energies? Wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have a feeling about this reading. Someone from your past is going to return to you and ask you to marry them. If that's you. It could be anybody. It could play across anybody's perspective. Cancer. Cancer, someone rising. Venus, north, node. Eliminate the negative. Accentuate the positive. Thank you, spirit. Trust for cancers. What is this trust about for cancers? The emperor. It just almost grabbed my hand. The emperor, the divine masculine, the Lord, the almighty, the universe. This is a master over many, many important things. It could be, it could be someone who runs a big business. It could be someone that you're in love with. It could be an Aries or a Taurus. And the queen of pentacles, the spouse, the wife, the grounded, dependable energy that says I do, and she does, and she keeps doing. That's what she does. Reconciliation for my um, cancers, please. Ace of Cups, love offer, happiness, pure joy, new love. It's a new love energy. The sun is here to say, yeah, that's complete healing for a cancer somewhere. Cancer, you may be uh, reconciling with a can another water sign or with a Leo. And a lot of things are going to be, be, a lot of things will be brought to your attention. It's going to make you feel good and healthy. Tell me about the wedding, please. Two of Wands, trying to decide where do we go? How do we go about this? 
Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. The lovers having a choice. A decision has to be made. In order to bring about justice, Cancer, this could be Libra. What we have is Aries Leo Sag, Gemini, and Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's see what the energies are. Let's see what the direction this is going for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North. Oh, what is it? It's a change in the wind, see? They're promising it. You've been hanging around way too long waiting for something to happen. I think you manifested it because you can only manifest that by drawing it towards yourself, by loving yourself and trusting the divine to bring it. Cancer, that was for you. Thank you so much, loves. Namaste, I love you. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you subscribe for the first time, please um, make sure that you hit the all bell so you don't miss my notifications. Thank you so much. We're on our beautiful Scorpios now. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. House Watchers, tap me in, Spirit. I am a Scorpio, so I can. Hello, Spirit. How you doing? Tell me about our Scorps in love right now. Tell me about the love energies for Scorpio right now. Although it's cancer season. Past life relationship? Of course. How many past lives have you had, Scorpio? Probably more than you can keep track of. Religious factors? Belief system. Beliefs are different at this time. And releasing an ex. Ex. You think of that X, and you think X'd out, you know, you've been X'd out. You X'd out a past life relationship because of religious factors. Either they didn't believe in you, or you didn't believe in them, or you had a huge difference. Or you have some spiritual influencing on this reading, on these energies. Scorpio, you're so deep. You really are, but you can be so sweet. If people treat you right, you're like a massive treasure. They need to treat you right. Talk to me about this past life relationship for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My beautiful, beautiful, passionate Scorpio. Get down to business, right, Scorpio? Here we are, darlings. Wow, that went flying. Justice. There will be justice in this relationship. It could also be that you're hooking up with a Libra, perhaps. What's going on with this Libra or this justice card? Wow, they're just flying. Six of Swords. Justice is going to be that someone moves quietly away, keeps their peace of mind, forgives, releases, and balances out. We have um, Libra very, very heavy right here. Um, Air, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone you've known. Why is this person leaving like this? Page of Pentacles. They might have gotten an offer elsewhere. They might be off working on money and just not able to work on the relationship. But it could be that they got an offer or... They need to make one. Maybe they're coming your way to bring justice, peace of mind, and a blessing. Religious factors, please. Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We already know Taurus is a harfant. That's the religious pattern person. Now you need to know that your love is influenced by your religion Religious upbringing and spiritual path. The spiritual path to wants you in a long-term relationship. There's your Ten of Pentacles to prove it. You know, what's the point of being in a relationship that isn't going to build? Whether it's a past life or not, right? You want them Ten of Pentacles. You want the family. You want the spouse. You want the one that's really, really trustworthy. That's really going to feel you out and stay there. Yeah. But right now... That's your desire. 
But right now, you're releasing somebody because there's not enough emotion. There's not enough attraction. They feel sorry for themselves. They're not able to give you their cup. They're not able to reach out. They're in their deep, deep emotions, and you're releasing that. Why are they not receiving your offer? Why is this offer from this other person, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, failing at this time? Because they're hurt. Somebody's hurt, Five of Cups, so deeply. But I feel pity party, you know, in a way. Even though you're releasing somebody, keep going. Temperance, this is it. This is the secret of the universe. Angels are helping revive your energy so you can get that new pinnacle. There you are, Scorpio, the Queen of Cups, sitting on your throne, being absolutely fabulous, attracting love to yourself. What do we have here in the way of um, wisdom of the oracle for Scorpio? Someone's watching you. They're observing your behavior and responses. Could be this past life partner. And they want balance and justice to be fair. To be fair. Things have to be fair. Somebody's wanting fairness. I know I am. I've been treated terrible. And I want you to know that I love you, Scorpio. Thank you for being here, loves. All right. Now we're off on to Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Thank you, Scorpios and cross watchers. If you'd like your own private reading, please hit me up. Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com or Robin's Realm Readings at .net, my website. Pisces, hi babies. How you doing? My wonderful, sweet, creative Pisces. Lovely Pisces, here we go. Pisces, someone has even smart though, cross watchers for a while. All right, love messages for Pisces. Give me the love energies for Pisces, please, Spirit. Let leave no stone unturned. Okay, we got two of them right away. Unrequited to love, not enough attraction to keep this relationship going. You have healing family issues. What else comes up for Pisces, please? <laughs> Letting go of control issues and very soon. So those are a lot of energies to have in your in your energy field, spirit, Holy Spirit, Pisces, 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 Pisces. What's happening for Pisces right now? Please hit the like button when you come in on this channel. It doesn't matter what time you come in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your gifts, your donations. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your feedback. Just thank you. Love you. Unrequited love first. What is that for Pisces? Or who is that? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Someone not giving love because they don't have anything to offer. Or they're really just not that interested at this time. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles. They're holding back their energy from you. Um, they're not committing or anything. They might be holding back money as well. And that makes you upset. No wonder you're not loving. They're not loving. Why are they holding back? Because they don't, they're hiding a secret. They don't want to tell you. And they don't want to talk about it. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is the truth. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. The major conversation that needs to be had with this person. And they're not making it. Why? Because they don't want a relationship. Or you don't want a relationship. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me about very soon for my Pisces people. The Emperor. So you have the Divine Universe. You possibly have this Taurus or, or uh, yeah, it's a Taurus. So this Taurus may be doing something in your experience. Mm. So now, the Harfant and the Emperor, it seems like a 
I think it's you. I think you're attracting a, someone of power, someone of faith that's going to help you to deal with the pain of being neglected by family, friends, or lovers. Hard to decide which way to go, so go to the har font and ask for help. Go to the Lord, go to the church, go to wherever you go. You're asking the divine for help. And very soon you will get it. You've been in hangman for way too long. That's your card, Pisces. I know, I know. I just kind of held back because I didn't know what to do. That's what I heard. Tell me about healing family issues. I think you've gotten some brilliance. Now you know what to do. But you need some help. The devil could be a Capricorn. The family has temptation issues they have. Um, and of course, it is a, it's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Up in their head, they, they're in this pattern that, you know, trying to do new things the same old way is insanity. And you know that. All right, letting go of control issues for Pisces, please, in this situation. And yes, I am taking private readings if you'd like one. Contact me. Okay, letting go of control issues. Not staying in the state of anxiety and fear over things you cannot control. Heavy choices and knowing that. Making a good one. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And Ten of Pentacles. Letting go of control issues and working on your family and yourself and everything you need to do for numero uno. Because this is massive abundance. This is family, friends, loved ones, a relationship, good money. The sun comes out to help you. Yep, you're letting go of control issues so people can heal. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Who do we have here? Aries, Taurus, Taurus. Aries, Tor Aries, Leo, Sag. You, the hangman. Taurus. Or Capricorn, Capricorn or Taurus, or Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, and an Earth sign. What is the message here, please, for my Pisces people? Thank you for the love, you guys. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the support and the gifts and the mwah. I love you. Happy, happy. How do you like them apples? I love that. Ah, you're making a new destiny. That breaks down to eight. You're doing it. You go into the land of milk and honey. It's all internal. Oh, snap. That's exactly what you're doing. I'm so happy you're doing your own work. It's showing. Love you very much. Namaste, my wonderful Pisces. May you go forward and prosper. Love you. Bye.